Hello, good morning. Today we are going to talk about the proper collection of urine specimen for urinalysis. First of all, urinalysis or urine analysis is performed to aid in diagnosing diseases. Screening asymptomatic populations for undetected disorders and for monitoring the progress of disease and effectiveness of therapy. Urine is used as a diagnostic specimen because it is readily available and contains an array of information obtainable by inexpensive laboratory tests. Today we will teach you how to properly collect midstream clean catch urine specimen, 24 hour collection, and to collect urine specimen from a pediatric patient. Midstream clean catch specimen is the preferred type of specimen for culture and sensitivity testing. Because of the reduced level of cellular elements and microbial contamination to properly collect the specimen, female patients must 1. Thoroughly wash hands with soap and water. 2. Separate the skin folds around the urinary opening. Wash area with a soap pad or towel using front to back motion. Repeat twice. 3. Begin urinating with skin folds held apart with fingers. 4. Collect the midstream urine. Make sure to avoid touching the skin area. 5. Fill half of the container and remove from the stream. 6. Cover the container and screw the lid tightly. 7. Properly label the container taking into consideration the information needed. 8. Refrigerate the specimen until it is ready for transport to the laboratory. Male patients must 1. Wash hands thoroughly with soap and water. 2. Wash the head of the penis with towel or soap pad. 3. Collect the midstream urine. Make sure to avoid touching the skin area. 4. Fill half of the container and remove from the stream. 5. Cover the container and screw the lid tightly. 6. Properly label the container taking into consideration the information needed. 7. Refrigerate the specimen until it is ready for transport to the laboratory. For pediatric patients, the medical laboratory scientist must 1. Wash hands thoroughly with soap and water. 2. Use providone iodine swabs or any antiseptic to clean the urethral area for female and male pediatric patients. On boys, clean the tip of the penis in a circular motion working out from the urinary opening. On girls, use one wipe on each side of the labia, wiping from front to back, and a third wipe directly across the urinary opening. For uncircumcised males, retract the foreskin before cleaning. 3. Place sterile urine back over labia and penis. 4. Reclean and replace urine bag if no urinating 30 minutes. Remove and discard the gloves and sanitize hands. Check the infant every 15 minutes until there is urine in the bag. Wear gloves to remove the collection bag and transfer the urine into a sterile urine cup. A 24-hour specimen is collected to measure the concentration of substances in urine over a specified length of time. In this collection, the bladder is empty before beginning the time of collection. To obtain an accurately timed specimen, the patient must begin and end the collection period with an empty bladder. Specimen must be refrigerated during the collection period, unless requested by the physician. Accurate timing is critical to the calculations that are conducted to determine analyte concentrations and ratios. An accurate result may lead to improper diagnosis or improper treatment. For the 24-hour urine collection, the patient must 1. Begin the collection of urine in the morning when you wake up. After you have emptied your bladder, first voided urine need not to be collected, therefore it should be discarded. Note the exact time and this is the beginning of your collection. 2. You should collect every drop of urine within 24-hour period. Specimen must be refrigerated. 3. If you need to have a bowel movement, any urine passed with the bowel movement must be collected. But do not include the fecal material in the sample. If feces do get mixed, do not attempt to remove the feces from the urine. 4. Finish by collecting the first urine pass the next morning. This should be added in the collection bottle. This should be within 10 minutes before and after the time that you noted on the first day. Thank you for watching.